Today's lesson is multiplying two to three digit multiple hand by one digit multiplier. This is a multiplication equation. 53 is the multiple hand. 8 is the multiplier. 424 is the product. This is the multiplication sign. And this is the equal sign. We can read this as 53 times 8 equals 424. We rewrite 53 times 8 in a column form. 53 is the multiplicand. 8 is the multiplier. 424 is the product. This is the multiplication sign. And this is the equal sign. We can read this as 53 times 8 equals 424. Let me show you the steps in multiplying two-digit multiplicand by one-digit multiplier. Let's solve 53 times 8. Remember, align the numbers to the correct place value. Ones, tens, hundreds, and so on. 53 times 8. Step 1. Multiply the multiplier by the ones digit of the multiplicand. That is 8 times 3 equals 24. The product is more than 10. So, carry over or regroup the tens digit, which is 2, to the higher place value. Step 2. Multiply the multiplier by the tens digit of the multiplicand. That is 8 times 5 equals 40. Then, we add the number that we carry over. So, 40 plus 2 equals 42. Since there are no more numbers in the hundreds place, we can write 42 below the line. So, the answer is 424. Let's do it again. 8 times 3 equals 24. 8 times 5 equals 40. 40 plus 2 equals 42. So, the answer is 424. Let's try 86 times 7. 7 times 6 equals 42. 7 times 8 equals 56 plus 4 equals 60. The answer is 602. Now, let's go over the steps in multiplying 3-digit multiple hand by 1-digit multiplier. Let's solve 183 times 5. Remember, Align the numbers to the correct place value. Ones, tens, hundreds, and so on. 183 times 5. Step 1. Multiply the multiplier by the one digit of the multiplicand. That is 5 times 3 equals 15. The product is more than 10, so we can carry over or regroup the 10th digit, which is 1, to the higher place value in the 10th place. Step 2. Multiply the multiplier by the 10th digit of the multiplicand. That is 5 times 8 equals 40. Then, we add the number that we carry over. So, 
40 plus 1 equals 41. The product is more than 10, so we carry over or regroup the 10th digit, which is 4, to the higher place value in the hundreds place. Step 3. Multiply the multiplier by the hundreds digit of the multiplicand. That is, 5 times 1 equals 5. Then, we add the number that we can carry over. So, 5 plus 4 equals 9. Since we have multiplied all the digits, we can write down 9 below the line. The product is 915. Let's do it again. 5 times 3 equals 15. 5 times 8 equals 40. 40 plus 1 equals 41. 5 times 1 equals 5. Plus 4 equals 9. So, the answer is 915. Let's answer 526 times 7. 7 times 6 equals 42. 7 times 2 equals 14. Plus 4 equals 18. 7 times 5 equals 35. Plus 1 equals 36. The answer is 3,682. Let's review the steps in multiplication. Step 1. Multiply the one-digit multiplier by the ones digit of the multiplicand, then by the tenth digit of the multiplicand, then by the hundred digit, and so on, going to the left. Step 2. If the product is 10 or greater, we carry over or regroup the 10th digit of the product to the higher place value to the left. Step 3. Multiply the digits in the place value to the left and add the regroup digit to the product. Step 4. Then the steps are repeated until all digits have been multiplied. Let's answer some more exercises for the sake of practice. You may pause the video if you need more time. Let's do this. 43 times 2 equals... 86 88 times 6 equals 528 45 times 7 equals 315 324 times 2 equals 
448. 426 times 7 equals 2,982 Good job! I hope you found these exercises useful. If you do, click like and subscribe to see new videos on our channel. Have an awesome day!